<laughs> I'm back again on the health care plan again. So, a half a minute ago, I did a video, and you know, I was expressing some of the concerns I hear from white America as uh, we get ready to do this health care, and I believe that there's a fear that white America will be paying for the rest of us to have health care and white America don't want to be paying for a bunch of blacks and Mexicans to get health care. I said it. Then I'm starting to get comments that pop up on the bottom of the screen. Which is true, that's what they bottom of the screens for comments. So, you know, a couple of these comments were like people kinda angry. But um I honestly want to tell you that if there's more white people in the United States of America than blacks, than Mexicans, there's more white people. So white people are the ones that will benefit the most from universal health care. Because there's a lot of poor white people out there. And I, man, if my camera was reading the battery, I would walk the streets and show you all these homeless white people with no benefits. <clears throat> Hold on. Dogs barking and shit. Health care for that damn dog, you keep on messing with the neighbor's pits. <laughs> now, more light back there. So, um, I just want to say it's like there are more white people in America than any other race. And when you look at these town hall meetings, you get white people upset, white people angry. White people do not like to take care of white people either. A poor white man and a rich white man have nothing in common, they may have the same skin color. They may even have the same ambitions, but one man can't even see the other man. One man is invisible to the other. Um, those who have and those who don't have, that's two different worlds. To give people who don't have insurance is one thing, but to complain and think that one group of people will benefit it more than another group of people is completely insane and preposterous. Now, because there are more white people, wouldn't that be a basic common knowledge that more white people who need help would be getting help? I want to mention something because uh, a lot of people who live in the real world think like this. When new people come to this country, there are benefits. They automatically get benefits. Benef benefits, benefits, benefits. When people come to this country without nothing, they seek help. Those of us who live here all of our entire lives, we don't go look for help because we're here. We don't look to seek to find help until we need it. And once we do seek to find help, we as Americans find a lot of the time that we cannot qualify for this help. But we have to sit back and watch people come into this country and find the help they need to succeed. As an American, this is what hurts people the most. The perception that our country would rather give others than to give their own. That perception is huge because we can see it. We can see when people come from other countries how quick and how fast the benefits hit them. I once applied for something and I was told I couldn't get it. Just recently, I applied for something. I was told that I could not get any assistance unless I placed my son on assistance. They don't need assistance. My wife and my son don't need assistance. I need assistance. I'm about to be thrown out of here. Homeless hit the streets. And I don't want someone to see me with a laptop and think, oh, this black guy selling crack. This nigga got some money. Oh, I'm broke. I'm busted. And the perception, when you see somebody of color with something and you a white person, you don't have shit, you automatically got money. I don't have no money. I hear this. I have friends that are white. 
Not like these, these, these guys say, I have, I have black friends. No, I got lots of white friends. And their attitudes towards certain situations are race-based. Why? Based on my observations, because they don't know any better. Are they stupid? No. Are they blind? No. They're just misinformed. And when I was growing up, I, I faced the same shit. A group of people thinking that everything that they do, other people benefit from it. It's pitiful. I remember one time I tried to get unemployment. And I had a, a check cashing ID. I had a check cashing ID. Um, I had just lost my ID, but I had my social security number. My card. The card. And the guy says, I, I just can't accept this. And he did it with a British accent. I can't accept this. I truly can't accept this. You can't prove to me that you're American. And I'm looking at this guy. I'm at the fucking unemployment office, and this dude tells me I can't prove I'm an American. There's a Hispanic guy. He says something in Spanish to this other guy. The other guy opens his wallet, starts handing him papers, and he... Same person I just talked to, and I'm sitting there perplexed. He has this guy's his, his papers out of his wallet, and then he finishes the paperwork and everything. And the guy says, "You'll have a check in five days," and it pissed me. I was mad at Mexican people for about a week, and I didn't understand. So. Me being the person I am now, because I fully understand exactly what the whole situations and, 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 and things come. I understand when it comes to health care that certain people in our society think they're going to be paying for the blacks and the Mexicans to have health care. Not even looking at the fact that there are a lot of poor white people out there who need health care. Basic hygiene. Wash your ass. A lot of people don't have a shower to go to. You just can't go to uh, what you think is a public shower and get in there. A lot of people don't know where the YMCAs are. A lot of people don't want to register and put their name on nothing. Not even take a shower. We need a health care that's not going to kill people. Financially. We need a medical corps to help the sick. Not a medical corps that when a war breaks out, we send our entire medical corps over to uh, put medical care on the people that we just destroyed. We can spend money on everything but the people of America, then that means the people of America need to go find a new bank. Period. Find a new bank. Then we can fund our own health care. But as long as we pan into the Federal Reserve, we're only reserving our money for somebody else. The corporation that runs the Federal Reserve runs America. It's not an American bank. We need a new bank. We need a new hospital. We need a new place. We need a new government based on the people for the people two parties one coin and that same one coin goes in one pocket we as a people deserve a hell of a lot more than what we're getting we deserve a president that won't backpedal we also deserve a president that's not a tyrant we also deserve a president that's going to die for his people not just the whites the blacks, the Mexicans, every citizen of the United States of America needs a president willing to stick his neck out there. Back in the days when the king decided to have war against another country, the king led his troops into battle. As far as we know, that's what they show in every movie. I know for a fact if I was the king of the United States of America, I'm going to lead my troops into battle, but I'm coming home to watch from CNN, ABC. But I jumped off the subject of health care. We all need universal health care, but we need to let a group of people in our country know that the health care that we're seeking for everybody is not just going to be for one group of people and not all of us.